guys for the support yeah, as well you know ready
Sounds good. 
Okay, then I'll take one. This is a song, though. <laughs>
Reflections. Go.
Society, and we're here with uh, Scalafreya, Denver death metal band, and uh, they've been kind enough to invite us to come watch them practice and uh, sit down with us and uh, talk a little bit about uh, what's going on with the band and <clears throat> some upcoming uh, new music and uh, live performances. So, if you guys could maybe just introduce yourselves. Um, and your role in 
the band, and then maybe give a brief, just a brief history of the band, if you wouldn't wouldn't mind. I'm Victor, guitar player for Scallop Rap. Hi, mate, guitar. I'm Joe, drums. I'm Jake, bass. Uh, and, we, and we all sing vocals, so. Yeah. So, there we go. All vocals, yeah. yeah. Basically, yeah, uh, we started out, like, a long time ago, like, roughly, like, 2001, but then, like, I met this guy Jaime on my birthday, and me and me and my brother Jake were were started out and like jam with these two other dudes, and for a while, for not very long actually, half a year, and then we met Jaime and he jumped in, pretty much right away. It was like two weeks or about two weeks since I actually met him on my birthday, and then like we fucking started. Two jamming. weeks after I was born. Um, man. <laughs> Just right away. Two weeks after he met me, and he was in the band, and we jammed for roughly like eight years, helping for all, a bunch of sick bands. You know what I mean? Like Black Dye, Murder, Cephalic Carnage, Cow Decap, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Venom. You know, a bunch of sick DSI, bands. DSI, DSI, yeah, Gohor, Cephalic, numerous. You know, songs. played a bunch around Denver. You know, did couple like small like runs on tours like down south to maybe new mexico and like little runs like that you know down and texas and whatnot yeah texas is a good place we met victor Arizona. over here added him to the band and then we've kind of expanded we wrote two albums without him uh ingenuity of the death machine which was in 2006 and then we wrote a fucus and released it in 2008 and then we met victor how long ago was that like Two almost, and a half years ago. Almost three years, yeah, two and a half years ago. Wow, time fucking flies. Yeah, it fucking flies. <laughs> but, yeah, we met Vic and threw him into the band pretty much right away. It was like a month after I met him. He was in the band rocking with us, and so we started a two-in in our style. Now we have kind of a new style. He brought a completely different element to the band. He was a different, like, style than us. We are brutal death metal, you know, dying fetus-ish, you know, uh... You know, a Cannibal Corpse, those were kind of our influences, suffocation, shit like that. You know, uh, just trying to expand, span our minds. He came in with a completely new style. All his riffs were. Yeah, I like really the Anthrax, Suicidal Tendencies, DRI, Exodus, all that shit. You know, mm -hmm. Testament, fucking, you know, all that old school shit. You know, and I just never really played with any other musicians, you know, and then just met these guys and, and it just clicked right away instantly, you know, so. Yep, we got through that part. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> Someone's elaborating on his, you know. That's all good. Off of his, but. Yeah, then we pretty much met Vic, and like his style was way unorthodox compared to ours, you know, like completely different. It made me personally expand my drumming a lot, you know. Me learning. too. My bass playing as well too. Yeah, a lot up, of fast riffs that I had to up to all of our techniques, you know, learning his down, stuff. You know, that just as boogieing well as, up the boogieing up the neck, you know. And it's just like, like you expect me to play that on bass? You know, it's like, damn, Vic, what the, what the hell is this? <laughs> you expect that? And then, like, I just started getting it down and pushing myself, and you know, now it's just it's it's easy to just you know I can flow through it. It's helped my style a lot as well too, as writing. And whatnot, mm -hmm. you know. So that's that. It's definitely been a big change, you know. That like we all have our own little style in the band of like stuff we listen to, stuff we like. You know, we all have our own. You know, we I mean, got our own way to book. Jaime it. gets down with Selena's, you know. Like you know, yeah, that's, I like that's cool. Selena, you know. Uh -huh. she, she's the party and, you know, and, like, and Elvis, you know. Yeah, yeah. Sure, I like get, David Bowie. David yeah, Bowie, yeah. Like, uh, Elton John, you know what I mean? Yeah, we, oh, we sure can you get know. down, with, you know. Can't hate, you know. Yeah, absolutely. You gotta give, you know, credit where credit's due, man. Like Ray Charles, you gotta give credit. Ray yeah. Charles. <laughs> yeah. I mean, motherfucker was a master. I mean, if you want to go, I mean, you <laughs> could go like a master on, and on, and on and on and on and on. Yeah, you know, but like David Bowie with spandex and fucking. You know. <laughs> yeah, all our styles together, <laughs> man. That's just really wrong. good thing. <laughs> Ziggy and shit. Bach, <laughs> Bach, you can go Bach, Beethoven, all that, you know. Yeah. You can go for He actually introduced us to Cynic, which is cool. Like, oh, yeah. I never heard of Cynic. Oh, yeah. I showed him the Faceless. I was like, dude, you gotta check this man out, the Faceless. I showed him that planetary duality and shit. Right. And he's like, oh, dude, like, 
Yeah. This reminds me of Cynic. You should check out that band Cynic. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, sure. Actually, What's I that? had Faceless already, but you just showed me the actual yeah, album. Yeah. yeah. yeah was cool. But yeah, I was, remember I was playing it for him one day. He was like, dude, have you I heard of yeah, Cynic? I didn't know who that was. Like, yeah. I just had it on a tape. We were playing chess on your porch and shit. Yeah. Check that ass. Playing with chests on your porch? Chest. Playing with each other's chest. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. No, but yep. jab in the it's, face of this and shit. He's like, dude, you're a cynic. Introduce mm -hmm. us to cynic or me to cynic. Yeah, me too. That was that's crazy stuff. It's fucking awesome. Cause I love the fact it's melodic too, and there's like scene, but it's just crazy tech going on. You know, it's it's very very unique in its own sense. You know, I like cynic a lot. So definitely proceeded to throw that <laughs> style in. Now we're writing this new album called Opposites and Polarity with Victor. I can't wait to record it. We're trying to jump on recording as soon as possible, as soon as the, it's in the budget, you know. But, yeah, uh, that's going to be just awesome. It's going to feel awesome to have an album out with Victor as well, just an out, a third album out in general because the last album we released was 2008. Right. So it's very outdated. But it's still, although there's both of the albums that we have are good albums and people love them, you know, as you said yourself, that's actually why I was like, dude, come down and check it out. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. I know you like dude. the old shit. You tell me you like the old yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, so, for like, sure. If you like that, you'll definitely yeah. love like what we're coming out with. You know what I mean? Oh, the new songs are, are great. It's they're really good. Not only evolved. appreciate it, man. Yeah, they're actually Yeah, I mean, you for know? sure. We're choosing. Yeah, we do we with cheers yeah, right now. Really proud of it. You know, it's a different style. You know, we kind of, you know, at first, I, and me personally, was kind of worried, like, how we're changing our style up a little bit, how are other people going to feel about it, and whatnot, you know, and then now that we've got to play them live and stuff like that and hear some feedback, you know, and I'm getting my bass lines down tighter with it, we're making it, you know, you know, rock solid, I'm getting more and more excited about producing this album, it's going to be, it's going to be a giant step up, you know. Yeah, I personally enjoy the songs, like, a lot more, you know. I definitely personally enjoy these songs a lot. I think some of it actually like is some of my favorite music, like, mm -hmm. which is to say a lot because there's a ton of bands, you know, with a ton of styles. I mean, probably everybody says that, you know. What I mean, oh, right. our shit's my favorite shit. You right. Know, you, it's the best shit. Right. You know, but I actually think it's it has something that, you know, could catch anybody's ear. You know, any fan of any genre. You know, right. whether it be rap or you know, classic rock or whatever, you know right, what I mean? Dubstep. Right. Uh, maybe, maybe not dubstep fans, but... country rock. <laughs> <laughs> to, te to tech <clears throat> death listeners and brutal death metal heads, which right. is who we initially were out to get. Right. You know, so it's kind of upped our style. Right. You know, as a whole, you know. And, like, we're really picky about it, you know. We like to, we like to, like go over it a hundred times till we get it right till everybody's happy with the riff right you know we've even gotten like little arguments between each other over oh, yeah. a part that Plenty. we disagreed on you know like many times you know right mm -hmm. and measures yeah, yeah, yeah like like how many times does this go like should it go eight or seven you know i think eight and you'd be like fuck that when you play it so many seven. times you're just like fuck it let's come back to it yeah, well, we are. Well, I, I need a cigarette, her. man. I'll be, like, I'll be back. Let's <laughs> just let's go back to this here. later, you know. And then we'll come back later and accidentally play it sick, and we're like, okay, there you go. Right. Yeah, that's, you know, that's that, all we that needed. Yeah, yeah, it usually doesn't happen. If it ain't either. going right, it ain't. Yeah, yeah right. If it ain't going easy, we, it ain't going right. It takes so about just kinda, four or five. Walk away and start over. Four or five jam sessions because we argue a lot. Right, <laughs> you know, but it's a passion, you know. What I mean, it's definitely a passion. So uh, when when the finished product is actually finished and out, you know, you know, it's what we all love as musicians and yeah. as music fans as well. You know, we're all fans of other people's music. Right. You know, we all love to hear things, certain things about this song or whatever. Right. You know, like from every genre as right. well. You know what I mean? Yep, definitely. So yeah, we're all fans of music and just. <laughs> well, having out. heard your your first two CDs before extensively before we came here tonight, I mean, I can say that I love. I think the new stuff, like I said, is a great evolution and it's excellent. 
do you think that some of your older fans are going to be surprised, like your diehard older fans that haven't heard? I think stuff? people are going to be really excited once they hear it, like especially on recording, you know, certain things. I think they're going to be like, like wow, like yeah. You know? it's been so long since we've had a CD out. You know, we kind of you know went through some changes and you know flux fluctuations that we had to do as a band. Right. You know, and like now everything is just golden you know everything's working out perfect the way we want it to now we're able to concentrate on the stuff and get it ready so we can produce it and we're just we're stoked about it and well yeah as far as like I, well i've met a lot of older fans and stuff like that knew a lot of the same people but uh a, a lot of the feedback i get is you guys are the sickest you've ever been so right. you know that's for me like coming into the band like now almost three years yeah, and totally and helped that the style like a lot. of it. You guys are the yeah, it's it's ever been, it. So. Yeah, yeah I mean, just just yeah, as much sure. just as much of a you know, uh, and a vital key of Scalafrea yeah. as any of us. You know, right, it's, yeah. even though he's you know not been in the band as long, but it's still he's just as big of yeah. a part of Scalafrea as any of us. He definitely plays won't. in the key of Scalafrea. So we're, so we're sure. excited. We're excited yeah. to show that off. You know? <laughs> yeah. Cheers to that. Uh, oh, cheers. Yeah. That's good. I, mean, I, I've, I, I've, I honestly, I honestly, you know, <laughs> I can personally say, you know, <laughs> I benefited, you know, the most from him coming in the band because, you know. I play guitar, we both play the same instrument, so, you know, we have to click at a certain level, and, and, and it's pushed me, and, you know, hopefully, I you know, I push him in the same way, you know, just to do different other, you know, different things, our styles are different, totally different. And same circle of music. And same, same, you know, same genre, just, just different styles of playing. And it just, I feel like it just came together so easily, so naturally, you know, it didn't take much to just gel together. We just kind of had a just mutual, you know, feeling for the instrument and just feeling for what we wanted to do and how we wanted to do it. And it was just, you know, it came together really nice and, you know, it is what it is now and I feel like it's just better than it's ever been. <coughs> and... You know, I don't. You know, I'm just excited to see the next couple steps that's gonna happen. You know, right. it, it, it did fall off for a minute, but you know, everybody you know has lives. Everybody has things that they gotta go through, and you know. But now, it's 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 different. You know, and and I feel like there's just brand new life in this band, and I feel like it's time for this guy to wake up or take his. <laughs> So, yeah, like, something's, <laughs> going on, something's going on. I mean, it's, it's a reminder for something, man. It's, it's that time, our, you know. Our, uh, 